All right, Shalom, another GMS on the go, back with another lesson. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep the faith, keep believing. A quick little GMS on the go, you, you got to always revert right back to the basics, you know. Everything is for Israel. You know, the promises, the laws, you know, the kingdom of heaven, the glory, you know. It's all for the and look, it's all for the children of Israel. How many times do we got to say it? We're gonna keep saying it until the wheels fall off, man. Cause look, cause it's just true. Everything that we say is biblical. We back everything up, man, with a scripture. That don't mean that. That don't mean this. Oh, well, that's your opinion. And everybody got a right to their own opinion, but opinions are just like butts. Everyone got, everyone has one, but but then what? We're going to hop right into it, though. We're just going to prove, according to the Bible, that the God of the Bible only loves Israel. The laws are only for Israel. The promises are only for Israel. The only ones that can be forgiven for sins is Israel. We're going to prove it right quick. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 46. And these are the statutes and judgments and laws. Was the Lord made between him and the children of Israel in Mount Sinai by the hand of Moses? And you can't get no clearer than that, man. The laws of the Bible were given to the Israelites. It didn't say the whole world, but now the whole world trying to incorporate themselves. And then you got our people trying to incorporate the whole world into this thing of ours. When the Most High, the Heavenly Father, who you equally call God, the Most High, Yahweh, the Supreme Being, is saying right here in Leviticus 26 and 46, what did he say again? These are the statutes and judgments and laws which the Lord, you go to the Hebrew, you'll see it right there, Yahweh. Right? He know who he gave his laws to. Made between him and the children of Israel. So he gave the laws to the children of Israel. How did he do it though? How did he do it? In Mount Sinai, by the hand of Moses. He gave Moses the laws and told Moses to give the laws to the children of Israel. And when he came down to the bottom of that mountain, who was down there? The children of Israel. Moab won't down there. Ham won't down there. Uh, most definitely Edom won't down there. The children of Israel was, man. All right? Look, 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 another scripture. Let's go. Let's go. We're, we're on a roll, baby. Oh, this is just this, this is the beginning of the heat, you know? Let's get ready to get warm. Let's get it warm right quick. This is Acts chapter 2, verse 21. Old Testament, New Testament, what it is, man. What it is. Apocrypha, all that. Acts chapter 2, verse 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, shall be saved. And we know people run to that scripture, but they never read on. But one thing about the prophets, we read on. Ye men of Israel, ye men of Israel, Bun Yasha'ala, sons of Israel, right? Hear these words. Hear these words. What words? The words of the Bible. Hear these words, right? Yahweh Shai of Nazareth, who they ignorantly call Jesus Christ, a man approved by the a man approved of the Most High among you by miracles and wonders and signs, which the Most High did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves also know. And the scriptures all already tell us plain, if we don't speak according to this word, then there's no light in them. That's why anytime we say something, we go straight to the scriptures, right? Every time. Isaiah chapter 8, verse 20, to the law. And to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, what word is it talking about? Once again, the Bible, it is because there is no light in them, man. You know, the Lord loves us, man. OK, the God of the Bible loves the so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native American Indians, man. You know, it tell you that in Malachi um, 1, 3 and 4 and uh, Romans 9 and 13. I love Jacob. I hated Esau. Joel chapter 2 verse 27 and it reads and ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel it's the most high speaking you know through the prophet Joel and that I am the Lord your power and none else 
and my people should never be ashamed. And look, and that's plain. You can't you can't get no plainer than that. Okay? And look, look, you can't get no plainer than that. Look, next scripture. As a matter of fact, let's go here. I mean, plain is mass. Just, just doing this short lesson through the spirit you have about Shemiah Rashad, man. You know, it, it is what it is. St. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son. Who was that? She, Mary. Okay? The mother of Yahweh shot. St. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son. And thou shalt call his name Yahweh shot. Who the ignorant called Jesus Christ, right? And thou shalt call his name Yahweh shot. For he shall save his people. For he shall save his people. His, 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 his people. Okay? The word his is possessive. I mean, you people don't know the meaning of words, man. Have y'all ever looked up the words? You know, that's in this Bible. For he shall save his people from their sins. And we just read in Leviticus 26 and 46 who, who the laws was given to. All right? We just read that. We just read that now. Acts chapter 5 verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey the Most High rather than men. That's why we stick with the scriptures. The power of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Him hath the Most High exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel, not the whole world, to Israel, not every Tom, Dick, Harry, Larry, Curly, Mo, to Israel, okay? Israel, Israel, Israel. Man, it is what it is, though. Some people going to get it and some people ain't. To Israel. For to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. To give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sin. Israel, man. Israel, Israel, Israel. That's all the Bible is talking about, the nation of Israel. You, you other people, you know what I'm saying, incorporated these other nations, you know, you other people incorporated these other nations, man. You know, the Lord didn't in incorporate these other nations. You people did, man. You people did. Let's get something else. You know, we all, we're all about edifying, man. And, and, then, and then one thing about it, some people going to get it, and then, look, the majority of people ain't going to get it. And look, and we can't make nobody believe. We, we, we can't do it. We can't make nobody believe. Let's go to the book of Romans. You know. Let's go to the book of Romans. Romans chapter 11 verse 1. I say then. Have the this apostle Paul speaking. I say then. Have the most High cast away his people. His people. His people. His people. Yahweh forbid. For I am. For I also am a Israelite. So the apostle Paul was an Israelite, right? Look, he just told you who the God of the Bible people was, the Israelites. Of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. You know, look, look, in the same chapter, jumping down, Romans chapter 11, verse 26. And so all Israel, 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 shall be saved. And look, as it is written, man. In the Old Testament, as it is written, right? That shall come out of Zion, the deliverer, and shall turn away an ungodliness from Jacob. For this is my covenant unto them, his agreement. The old covenant, the new covenant is for Israel only, okay? For this is my covenant unto them when I shall take away their sins, all right? Their sins. I mean, I got so many. Romans chapter 9. Um, verse 1 I say the truth uh, Look, Apostle Paul speaking Everybody love the sayings of Apostle Paul, right? Well, here we go again Romans chapter 9, verse 1 I say the truth in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai I lie not My conscience also bearing me a bearing, so like it, My conscience also bearing me witness In the Holy Spirit That I have great heaviness And continual sorrow in my heart For I could wish that myself were a curse for whom I should yacht Yahweh shy for my brethren. Apostle Paul saying he wished he could have got up on the cross for the Lord. You know? For my brethren, for my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites. He's saying it again. Who are Israelites. 
to whom pertaineth the adoption. Being adopted back to the heavenly father. That's why the Lord died on the scene. And the glory, meaning the kingdom and the covenants, meaning the agreements and the giving of the law and the services of the most high and the promises. Everything is for Israel. You, you see where I'm going with this? Everything is for Israel, right? Look, whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai came, who is over all, Yahweh blessed forever. Amen. And that's plain, man. The Lord came and died on the scene for the children of Israel to get them adopted back to the Heavenly Father, man. He shed his blood for the children of Israel. Starting off with the elect, man. And I got one more and then I'm going to wrap it up. The process of time. This is Isaiah chapter 45, verse 17. Remember we just read earlier as it is written? This is it right here. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed, nor confound it, world without end. Okay? So that John 3.16, that's the precept to it. That's the world that it's talking about, the world of Israel, all right? Now look, just a um, quick GMS on the go. Everything is for Israel. Lord willing, the elect was edified. You brethren and you fruit sisters out there. It's, look, everything is for us, okay? Not these heathens. They have nothing to do with us, okay? The God of the Bible, you have, but Shema Shah is coming to deliver Israel. And he's coming to put these other nations in captivity. And they're going to find it out soon come. And two-thirds of our people, they're going to find out the hard way too. It's, it's written in the Bible, you know what I'm saying? But you don't want to believe what's written in the Bible, but then you say you believe in the Bible. Which one is it? Giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostles. And elders of great millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere icons, man. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith, man. Because guess what? Everything is for Israel. Shalom.